So, uh, someone had asked me what my sexual preference was. What's up YouTube fam? Welcome back and welcome if you're new. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell so you get notifications whenever I post. And if you've never seen my face before, I'm Renee. This is the Grace Gang. Welcome. So today's video is going to be a QA. and a A couple days ago I had asked um, people on both of my Instagram pages, my personal and my YouTube one, if you guys could shoot me some questions so we could do a Q&A. I got a decent amount of responses which, you know, is dope i don't mind the amount i got because it's perfect amount it's not too much it's not too little um but we're going to go ahead and answer those questions let's start with the first question it says what's your favorite felt tip eyeliner um <clears throat> excuse me my favorite felt tip eyeliner happens to be it's not like a big brand one it's something i got off amazon it's like it's called the magic eyeliner i'm going to look for a picture of it on amazon and i'll post it in and i'll leave the link down below so you can go check it out yourself because I live by this eyeliner. Um, it's called the Magic Eyeliner because for one, it is an eyeliner, but two, it's also a lash adhesive. So you could go ahead and like do your liner and give it a couple seconds and then apply your lashes. So you don't have to do double the process, it's one process. Of course, it only comes in the color black because it is an eyeliner, but like, so. <laughs> but it's super dope. That happens to be my favorite felt tip. Next question says, how hard was it to gain YouTube subscribers. I was genuinely thirsty, but that question, mm, excuse me, that question is crazy. Um, and I don't mean crazy in a bad way, I mean crazy in a good way. It took me, <laughs> to get to where I'm at now, it took me I would say about a year to get to 500 subscribers um, from where I originally was at. I started at the beginning of this year with probably 200 subscribers um, and in that time I've turned 200 into 500 and almost 540 um, and that's just purely off me trying to be more dedicated, being more active, promoting myself more and I Mm, excuse me. I know people get tired of me promoting myself on my pages, and quite frankly, if you don't like it, there's the door. If you don't like it, there's the door. Um, but that's one thing I continue to do, and my subscribers have definitely um, increased since then. And I'm thankful. Like I said in my last video, I'm thankful for every single one, la every every single last one of you guys that has watched my videos. You comment down below. You're active. Like I appreciate you guys. I really do. So, uh, someone had asked me what my sexual preference was. Um, preference at, my sexual preference is men, but I do enjoy being with the opposite sex. Um, Relationship-wise, friendship-wise. I enjoy people. I, I can't really... I really don't, I don't really get a word for it. Besides, I enjoy people. <laughs> I've never really expressed this to people, so. Yeah. Um. Next question. What's your favorite thing about making videos? My favorite thing about making videos is putting my content out there. Putting my, uh personal my own content out there i'm not putting out content that i see everybody putting out like i don't i don't follow trends because everybody's doing makeup trends i don't follow them like i put out genuine content that's mine that that i feel like people enjoy and subscribers have proved that they do enjoy my content um uh next question says do you find it hard to come up with good content sometimes <laughs> 
if only y'all knew how hard it is like to come up with good content because majority of the time people want to see hauls they want to see um try-ons and stuff of that nature they want to see what you buy people enjoy to watch the things that people buy and right now we're in the middle of a pandemic i haven't worked in damn near a year i don't have money to just spend on buying things um so i think the hardest part about creating good content is having something that everyone can relate to and that everyone wants to watch next question what keeps you motivated you guys that ass <laughs> you guys um if i didn't have my subscribers my youtube channel wouldn't be anywhere and granted i don't get paid for this but one day i will and it will be all because of you guys because of the views because of the subscriptions because of the shares and just getting up just knowing that i have 537 people watching my videos even if you guys aren't watching them on all one video it adds up like that's dope to know that I have that many people who actually follow me and actually find me entertaining like cuz I feel like I live a boring life <laughs> so y'all the motivation keep it up y'all keep it up I keep it up <laughs> Some of these questions are repetitive, so I'm not going to answer them. Like, um, what made me start YouTube? If you haven't already watched my video, my skincare update video, like my skincare slash life update video, go ahead and click the link down below. I'll link it down below for you guys to watch, or I'll put it in the screen right here for you, make it easier. But I already answered that question, so I'm not going to answer it again. Um, someone asked me, did you name Sage after the Sage plant? Uh... Look at my little precious. She's asleep right now, so I ain't even gonna bother her. I said her name and she opened her eyes. I named I'm Sage Sage because I got her in a, I wouldn't say low point in my life, but literally um, I lost my job the month before I got her and I had already paid, it's our, her, she was already paid for. Um, and I was depressed about not having a job. I didn't have any unemployment coming in because unemployment was so backed up that it was hard for them to get to people. And she came at a moment when I needed peace and she gave me peace, just like when I'm burning sage, when I meditate. So I thought that it was the perfect name for her. Even though she can be hyper in the pain, but you guys have seen it. She's definitely brought in great peace to my life and made me feel um, more secure and less alone at times, so. I didn't name her because of the plant. I named her because she gives me peace. Someone asked me, do you have any... My phone is down here, so I should just put it up here, right? Y'all like my case? Shout out to my best friend. She gave it to me. Um, this next question says, do you have any tattoos? If so, do they mean something significant? Yes, I will insert a video or a picture of both my tattoos. But the one tattoo that means the most to me is my lion head on my left thigh. My father is a Leo. My dad raised me uh, all my life. Like, <laughs> never missed a beat. What's the hardest thing about being a dog mom? <laughs> Going outside in the cold. I don't, I don't like it. In the cold, going outside in the extreme heat. Sage don't do the heat anyways. If it's too hot, she won't even. She'll go outside, she'll do her business, and she'll run right back to the door. Like, she'll be like, come on. But going out in the cold, it... Do I see myself doing YouTube forever? Listen, if it pay the bills, and my subscribers are still here, and it's going great for me, hell yeah. Why not be my own boss? Of course, I would branch away from this, and I would have other things involved with it, but... I mean, why not? If it's if it's something that you like to do, it makes you happy. Why not? You know, they say you'll never work a job if you love what you do. I love what I do here on YouTube, even if it's just for my small amount of subscribers or the people that watch and don't subscribe. And if you do watch and don't subscribe, subscribe. Like, don't be a hater, bro. But yeah, let's see. What attracts me to change my hair so frequently? Girl, I like change. I At one point, I used to change my room around like every three to four months. I still do change my room around. Um, I like change. And with hair, I feel like it's just hair. 
So if I decide to grow it out and then cut it off and dye it bright pink, so what? It'll grow back, you know? What age did I get my first wig? I'd say 17. 17, I started uh, wearing wigs, like half wigs. I wasn't wearing full wigs, like full lace wigs, because lace wigs wasn't popping when I was 17. Like, that wasn't even a thing. There was no lay your lace, melt your lace. There was no, like, fleek the baby hairs. It was like you threw on your half wig, you had your real hair out and made it blend, and you was cool, or you had a sew-in, or you had clip-ins. Like, and then I found out about wigs. It was over. It was over. Like, <laughs> I went ham, and now I just got a collection. I should do a video of that. I be having ideas sometimes. Next question says, what do you like about makeup? Being able to uh, express my creativity. Makeup is like an outlet for people who have like a creative side but can't draw or paint. Like I can't draw to save my life. I could color some pictures in a coloring book outstandingly. Like you'd be like, dang, that look good. But I can't draw or paint to save my life. Like, I can't paint you anything. Then again, I haven't tried, but I feel like makeup gives me an opportunity to be creative on that aspect. What color, what color hair are you dying, are you dying to try, but are too scared to? Green. I've been wanting to dye my hair green for like four years now. And I don't mean like tennis ball green. Which would be cute if I had a cut. If I had a cut and it did tennis ball green, I'd be cute. But I mean like a, a hunter green. Like a, a nice forest green. Like a dark, an emerald green. There you go. Um, I just haven't done it yet because I feel like it's not going to look right on me. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'll wait till my hair grows out and then I'll dye it green. But I'm scared to dye my hair green. I've had every other color in the rainbow but green. On a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the worst, how hard is being on YouTube? It's hard. I'm not going to say a 10 because that's exaggerating. Um, I'd say like a 7.5. And, and I say that because YouTube's algorithm is... You got to learn how to play it. Like not play it like in a bad way but you gotta learn how to play the game like if you're not posting every day or two times a week or three times a week you don't appear as often so that's why I can I try to post every Tuesday and Friday um, would I ever start a business I don't know if y'all know or not but a year ago um, I had decided to start a lash brand and I didn't go through with it and not because I couldn't is because I don't wear makeup every day and for me to have to promote lashes I would have to be somebody who does lashes all the time I rarely do makeup to be honest like I don't have an everyday makeup routine because every day I don't wear makeup I do have a go-to makeup routine that I use when I do have to wear makeup but um, I was gonna start a lash brand and I didn't I'm I'm trying to think of I'm not even trying to think I have some ideas in my brain for another for another brand and when I get everything rolling and good and going, you guys will know all about it. I promise. What are some tips you can give someone that wants to try wigs? If you like it in the stove, make sure you love it when you get it home. Um, I would say watch a lot of videos. YouTube definitely can help you learn how to apply a lace wig. Um, don't get anything synthetic when you first buy a wig I say spin some coin because those wigs last longer synthetic wigs are more for like quick I'm going out I just want to throw something more and come home and snatch it off I feel like if you're gonna get a wig get something that's gonna last you a while not something that's gonna be um, short and not long-lived what do I consider my strength when I read this question the other day I was like oh that's deep um, I feel like my personality is one of my strengths because my personality has definitely gotten me through a lot of situations for the fact that I can always seem to block out the bad even when the bad is really bad and try to find good. Um, 
and every now and then I may isolate but sometimes you need isolation but I think my personality is one of my strengths because it also helps me build friends um, I've never had a problem with making friends keeping them yes because people aren't always who they pretend to be but I've never had a problem making friends what's my favorite part about myself Do you mean body wise or in general because I don't know how to answer that <laughs> what would I tell my teenage self let it go everything let let everything go um the anger from not having a mom around the not finishing school um being misunderstood as as a teenager i i didn't really have too many friends like i was just like in my own little world like i literally live high school like if i was in like a tv show like I'm walking through the halls, but everything else is just like, nah, 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 nah. I just hear, I hear noise. I don't see faces. Um, yeah, let it go. And when you start your YouTube channel, sis, don't give up. That's what I would tell myself. Because I started my YouTube channel in 2013. Um, that was a couple years after I stopped being a teenager. But still, don't give up on your YouTube channel. Keep keep pushing. Um and don't let nobody tell you you can't do anything without a high school diploma because we've done a lot of shit uh, without a high school diploma. So we're working on it. We're working on it. But right now, coronavirus and school is canceled. So until then, we work on YouTube. That's what I would tell my teenage self. Oh, and I love you, girl. And you fine. And you ain't got to look like everybody else to be like everybody else. You just got to be you. That's it. Oh, I missed this one. Where do you see your? Where would you like to see yourself in four years? Four years, I'll be thirty-one. <laughs> that sounds weird to say. Um, I'll be thirty-one. I would like to see myself either working a career I love which would be anything that it pertains to me being my own boss um so owning my own business or youtube um being my main revenue of money and my own business being a second revenue of money and i would like to see myself in not saying that my relationship now isn't but i would like to see myself in a loving relationship with um the man that's meant for me <laughs> mm, that man he's something else uh, for the man with the man that's meant for me, and I just I just want to be living a happy life, and I want to be successful, and I want to make sure my family reaps the benefits of my success. Somebody asked me what is my favorite tarot card in the tarot deck. Um, I told her that it was the sun, and I'm trying to remember. We had a conversation about so much today. The sun and the ten of cups. I picked the sun because I feel like the sun to me is my energy, my power. Um, it recharges me. It's something about the sun that's just so beautiful, um, regardless of how hot it may be. It is. It creates life. <laughs> like, what's more beautiful than that? And then I also said the Ten of Cups because I'm very family oriented. Um, I love my family to be connected. I love for us to love each other and to just be there for each other and i can say that because even now during the pandemic we've found a way to stay in communications um we do zoom meetings every friday and we get on there sometimes and we are talking about serious stuff and we're talking politics and we're talking you know covid vaccines and and making sure everybody's healthy and who isn't healthy and who has it and if they're doing well um and sometimes we get on there and we goof off and Family's just a very big thing to me. So my favorite cards would be the Sun and the Ten of Cups. Um, that is my final question. I hope this video is not too long. Of course, I'm going to try to um, edit it so that it isn't 30 minutes long. But, ooh, that made me tired. I'm always tired. <sighs> it's the weather. It's so gloomy outside. But that is the end of this video. If you've gotten this far and you still haven't subscribed, I don't know what you're waiting for, sis. Go ahead and smash that subscribe button and hit the bell so you get notifications whenever I post. 
And until then, I'll see you next time. We out. Peace.